Jay Daniels sat down with PFF College, did a little interview. And, um, and well, here's a great quote from Daniels. I asked about why he chose to return. Quote, that's the biggest thing for me. I want to win the championship before my time in college is done. Now we're here in year two. Coach Kelly gives all of the reins to me to go out there and be a leader every day. He told me that this is my team. In order to win a national championship, it has to be player-led. And I feel like we have that. And what's interesting to me as someone who talks a lot of LSU is that this is the first time where we've had something like that on record um, in terms of Daniels just talking about how much Kelly has kind of empowered him to be the unquestioned leader of the team. Mm -hmm. And when you talk about differences in Jay Daniels, Aaron, probably the single biggest difference is that last year he was a new guy, new culture, new teammates, new coaches, didn't know anybody, having to figure all that out. This year he is the guy, not the new guy. Yep. He is now the guy. And it should – I mean, as a quarterback, Aaron, how much does that help in what you're looking to accomplish? I think it's massive. I, you know, I love LSU. I was singing their praises as soon as I, you know, saw you after the game. You know, being super dad, taking videos of your daughter at halftime, and doing all that. With that my just fun, awful looking boobs, but yes, yeah. just awful, awful looking boobs. boobs. Which we're Make still sure like, we're still. I mean, episode. I mean, I feel like we're doing. It's not, Are you, you, know, you done your pushups? That's not a good yeah. angle. That's not a good angle. I've been doing pushups, but here's the deal, dude. I also ate a lot of crawfish well, yesterday. The older I get, the harder that gets. A lot of salt. You feel very yeah. bloated, yeah. right? So we're gonna very be fine. Bloated. But what, what did we talk about yesterday for, for, for Florida? We talked about the fact that they've struggled getting a quarterback or getting a consistent player to the quarterback, and that's why they yeah. have been in the place where they've been in. It starts with QB1. And and I, I think Jaden has taken some massive steps from last year watching him to watching him in, in, in the spring game and just seeing his footwork, talking to the players, talking to the coaching staff. There it is. I mean, there's a sense of confidence that we got our guy. And I would say this too. I think even more confidence in the locker room is not only in Jaden, but with Garrett Nussmeyer, because I think as a coaching staff, you can let Jaden be Jaden. You can say, listen, if you want to run the football, because that is one of the weaknesses on the offense right now is a little bit of a concern at the running back position. We can run Jaden 15 times a game. We can run 20 times a game. Sure. We can say, Jaden, guess what? You have developed the passer. We would prefer for you to sit in there and get through your reads, which you've proven you can do. But when shit hits the fan and it's a real game and there's flying bullets and you can actually get hit and it's not practice, if you resort to your old ways and decide to run the ball a little bit more, we're fine with that. Go do you. Because guess what? We have a, a one of the best backup quarterbacks in America right now in Garrett Nussmeyer, where if he does go down, you're still in a good spot. So you're not, you're not handicapped telling Jaden to protect himself, telling Jaden not to run the football, telling Jaden to be a pocket quarterback. Go be you, dude. Go do your thing. And uh, I think for him, that's freeing for him. I think it's freeing for the rest of the roster too. So uh, do you think LSU is actually championship good? Because, I mean, that's yes. what Jaden Daniels is talking about here. You got UGA staying in the way. You're out here saying that Florida State's going to beat LSU week one. So I don't know that you actually believe they're championship so. good. Okay, well, you okay, you've been saying that though on snaps. You've been picking Florida State and then picking LSU to do good. So if you this change was, your mind, this was pre. This was it. pre seeing them live in the spring game. Not like seeing those dudes go out there and play, and seeing Jaden's progression, and seeing what you know the weapons on offense look like, the offensive line, the guys on defense. You know, some of the guys they got in the portal. I think it's gonna be a great game. I don't think it's a game. You're taking head to head. Let's play a head to head game. Who are you taking? I think LSU. LSU I'll Texas? take LSU. I'll take LSU. No, 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 LSU or Texas? Oh, LSU or okay, Texas? Or yes. LSU. I think LSU is the top four team in the country right now. LSU or Michigan or LSU or Ohio State first. Oh damn! I'm gonna make this seem like LSU is the second best team in the country. I'll take LSU. I'll take LSU over Michigan <laughs> okay, too. I'll take LSU, LSU over okay. USC. Uh, LSU okay. has a chance to be the second best team in America. There you wow. go, too. There you there go. There we go. So we've now arrived at. I mean, that is the see, and that's where I I maybe I'm just dinging myself trying to be too much of a homer. I arrive on the opposite side where I don't know if I feel good about them being ready to take down your Ohio State to UGAs or maybe even a Florida State, but we're gonna find out. We're gonna find I do love Jaden Daniels finally getting an opportunity to build on all that potential that he flashed freshman year and refound last year. Because it seems yep. like he had a lot of dysfunction to deal with over there at Arizona State. And now he's been, and we always talk nature versus nurture on the show. Now he's been put in a really good environment to find that long-term success. 